Welcome back to Gooseberry Homestead. This is Reba. So, I was up today. I ended up selling some extra um, starting containers that I had at my house here. And I um, took a little bit of that money and I bought a bag of soil, gardening, pot potting soil. I just got some stuff at Walmart. Let me see if I can show it to you guys. My patio is a little bit of a mess right now, so pardon the mess. But I got this bag here. Nothing super special, you guys. But it's a good medium. I'm finding that my seeds are germinating so much better in the um, potting soil that's looser. I made the wrong made the mistake last year of using this kind of stuff okay here's the real mess I was doing stuff the last couple days gardening and I'm using my little patio here and it's a mess it's a disaster but I'm gonna get that all cleaned up but I was using this like really dark soil and it's really um, uh, it sticks together and clumps together in the bags and it's really really heavy and it's really hard for the seeds to germinate in it I, so I think that's why a lot of my stuff did not germinate last year for me. So um, with that said, I um, had gotten some potting soil already this year. And then there were some other videos from some other YouTubers who mentioned the same mistakes they've made, just like I have, when they began gardening. And so um, they also were recommending this year, you know, starting your seedlings out in um, a good uh, potting soil um, this other bag said it said soil for indoor like pots indoor soil um, it just seemed a little bit heavy for even that in my opinion but I don't know um, but it basically kind of looked like the topsoil that I had bought last year so don't make that mistake of buying topsoil to start your seedlings in you want to make sure that you're using a nice loose um, soil like I'm doing this year and so what I did today was I bought some of that soil that you just saw I still have enough left over to fill the rest of my seed trays with and um, if I need to go back to the store again um, later I can always buy another bag of it at a later point it's about a five five dollar something close to six dollars for the bag of soil um, I think that's a decent price for a good soil for um, growing certain things in and for starting your seedlings so with that said what I did today was um, purchase that soil of course <laughs> and I went to the dollar store the Dollar Tree um, to be precise and they had these really cute purple pots that actually look a lot like these purple pots that I have in throughout my garden and I was going to get eight of those because they only had eight there because they match these pots but I was like do I really need I don't really need them right now um, but what I was needing was something to put the lettuce um, starts that I just got at the box store because while I do have some lettuce that I'm starting and some greens that I've started I really am wanting to have something that I can start harvesting a lot sooner um, since the weather is getting so nice so quick hopefully it stays this way um, and so I wanted to make sure that I have something that you know we can be starting to eat on it can grow and um, do well even in the colder months the next couple months are still gonna have cold some a little bit more cold um, nights and that sort of thing so um, yeah so these ones will do good but I got these little salad bowls I was looking in the garden section you guys and they had some really cute pots over there and then they had some just normal pots and I'd gotten some of the normal pots that you could hang and I was thinking I could hang them from the um, this overhang that we have for our patio area and then because um, the dandelions grow really well along here in this part of the house this section of the house where I have these they grow really really well and really big and I was thinking about it and I was just like you know what I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna look and look around the store so I had what I had in my cart and I'm walking around the store and I had those little baskets that had 
and they were a little bit smaller than these just a little bit smaller um, these have a wider mouth and a little bit deeper um, basin and so um, I was walking around the walking around the Dollar Tree and I spotted these salad bowls that have the wavy um, it's all wavy all the way around and I was like that's actually perfect so I got four of them and I planted just some regular um, green lettuce or green leaf lettuce in these these ones get a little bit bigger and then I put a cilantro in the middle I don't know if it's a slow bolt but what I plan to do is I plan to put a few um, cilantro seeds into the soil this like next week and so as this um, goes throughout the season I'll just continually add some cilantro seeds and um, lettuce seeds back into um, this area so that when the lettuce gets spent and the um, cilantro gets spent and all of that that hopefully that I will have enough to be able to keep harvesting for a while and then like alternating it you know what I mean so uh, that way you know I'll kind of have continually have lettuce throughout the season so what I did was is um, I'm wanting to say two two summers ago I painted these they were a white color and I painted them this blue and I only had done three of the wires um, in the blue color so I'll come down here so you can see and I have a whole they're on the other side of the yard and if you've seen any of my last videos you'll see those wire um, stands over the top of the plants that I don't want my son to trample down and so um, yeah I only had three but now I have four because I um, spray painted this one in the grass over here I'm gonna rake that up and so I'll be mowing that off um, probably not the wisest thing to be spray painting on the grass but I figured um, it's better than nothing I guess to spray paint right there I don't want to spray paint on the sidewalk area because you know when we leave I don't want there to be paint all over the place although that could be a cool feature if I like spray painted different things all different colors all the time and like the whole thing was multicolor that might look cool but yeah I'm not going for the graffiti look but I moved my elderberries right here this is the thunder cloud and it's already it's starting to leaf out and then I've got my Ivan's Beauty Mountain Ash in the center here. And then I've got um, some kale in each one of the containers. Um, I think one of them has three. And then the other three containers have one kale in each one. So one container has more. And so I'm trying to see, I'm like, this one has the red romaine and one kale. This one has two kills, no, three kills, and then three of the big lettuces, and then the cilantro in the middle. And it's just a curly kill. And I tasted one of the leaves, and they're really, really, really nice flavor, really young like this. So that's really exciting. I want it to get just a little bit bigger before I start really harvesting. Um, but I might take a couple leaves, you know, and have like, like one salad or something with it. Um, but here is another one that has just the, the regular lettuce and then it has um, the one kale right here on the side because I got a yellow cherry tomato and so um, I mean I planted you know cherry tomatoes already but you know it's always good to have some just in case so I just got one this year at the box store instead of like normally what I would get is several so I just got the one and then I have my Alesso elderberry right here and then on this end I just have regular romaine lettuce and I have a kill in the center and so everything's looking good um, and I'm really liking how this area is looking we're um, probably gonna end up getting new neighbors sometime in the future don't know how soon um, but our other neighbors are moving out as you can see everything's cleaned up and then I got to get all my stuff all cleaned up too off my patio so get my area looking nice to try to keep it look more tidy this year um, 
and so but yeah I've been potting things up right down here I got um, my uh, the other variety of gooseberry that I have and so I want to get these all put into um, a container of their own probably going to use some of these I had um, took all of the gooseberries that were in these that I had on those flats and I repotted all of those little gooseberries into and I'll show you I repotted them over here and I put them all into these little two inch um, containers here with some soil and um, the soil that I got was from my neighbor that's moving out so that was really awesome to get some basically free soil and I was needing to have the soil anyway so it was perfect um, it was a win-win and so um, these ones are needing to be established better the root systems need to be a little bit more established and I want to see more green some of them did have good roots <coughs> pardon me <coughs> it's that time of year Again, you guys, allergies are starting to come, but um, some of them don't have the green showing yet, so I wanted to wait before I put them into the lineup for um, the gooseberries to sell locally. And I'm not sure if um, the price that I'm asking is um, too much. I'm thinking I might need to lower the price um, a little bit uh, just because uh, they are fairly small and they are um, they're just starts you know from cuttings uh, rooted cuttings so I'm thinking I might um, lower the price so that it's more of a reasonable price right now I'm asking like ten dollars per um, cutting uh, rooted cutting technically it's a plant when it has roots but um, I'm selling them as rooted cuttings and um, yeah they're kind of they're on the smaller side so these ones down over here right here these ones have more green on them as you can see these ones have really good roots on them and they've already started turning green so these ones are definitely up for sale right now i'll probably get another photo of them now that they're even more green today and uh that way um maybe they'll sell a lot quicker i'm wondering if maybe five dollars would be a more reasonable um, price for the cutting. Um, so I'm thinking I might go ahead and do that. And um, I wanna allow these ones to grow. And in fact, I see some that are getting green on them that didn't have green yesterday. These warm days have really helped out. So it's very possible I could move a couple of these over into that other, that other um, spot over there. So I'm really excited about all the progress that's happening. I did see stuff um, sprouting. It looks like the St. Victor's may have actually um, sprouted um, today. I saw some green on the St. Victor's side. And so um, I'll show you. I'll bring, I brought some of my stuff back out because I need to move um, some of my flats around. The gooseberries that I'm going to be keeping for myself, those ones I have in the greenhouse, the cuttings I just took last month. I have those in the greenhouse now and I need to keep them in there so that the heat will help them root and that way I'll have a much higher success rate of rooting. I also repotted all of those, took them out of the container that I had them all stuck into because I had them in those two pots remember and now I have them all individually um, put into little um, I'm wanting to say I think I put them also into the two inch containers for now and I can leave them in there until um, closer to the middle of summer so there's that so here's what we got going on so much happened in the greenhouse so I decided to go ahead and move these out since they germinated the main reason why I put them into the greenhouse was to save them from the birds um, eating the seeds so um, I put them in there and then they germinated so here is my wild arugula which is the uh, wall rocket and it um, it's <laughs> it's also you guys I've got like a whole little bed of it here I love arugula so this is amazing for me <coughs> then right here I've got um, the other arugula 
And this one's a different variety, different um, variety for the, um, I can't remember. Ooh, there's deer. Oh, that's what the dog's barking at. It looks like a buck, possibly. Well, anyways, so regular arugula, which is a standard rocket. So I'm not even going to try it. You guys, I always butcher the Latin names for these things. And then right here is the miner's lettuce. So that's how that's looking. Looking great. And then this right here is the tender, mu tender mustard. Loving this. I'm actually going to pull one and eat it. Mmm. So good, you guys. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Okay, and then right down here, my chamomile also came up. I'm really excited about this. So this is incorporating some flowers with everything. So I'm excited about the chamomile. And so I'm hoping that the chamomile will just fill that whole pot and then I'll be able to um, uh, move them as needed and possibly even sell some of the starts that I started or share them. Sell or share. To me, I end up doing both. Somebody will come to my house and buy something. Um, here locally and then half the time I'll end up giving them a couple more plants for free uh, so I'm I, I kind of roll like that you guys <laughs> so um, yeah I love it um, and then right here the Swiss chard now this is the giant Swiss chard so I have the giant Swiss chard growing uh, I grew the bright lights last year and I still have a few of those plants and they're still alive the ones that got snowed on really heavy in the pot um, they look like they might still be alive, but they got hurt quite, 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 quite a month, quite, I can't talk, <laughs> quite a bit, so yeah, <laughs> and then right here, this is my cat seer and my plant, I'm wanting to call them plantain, but anyways, a bunch of the seeds that I put into the pot are germinating down under here, so that's really exciting, um, I kind of wanted to have like a pot that has some of these native um, species in them and um, I really want to I wanted to have like some of those up higher so that the dog couldn't pee on them so that I can preserve those for later use for medicinal reasons so yeah pretty exciting you guys um, ended up making a really long video of something that could have been really really short but yeah um, I mean the last few days have been so warm you guys look so warm that all of my trees are getting ready to leaf out record high was what they said yesterday um, in certain areas um, here locally um, in the region we had um, 80 degree weather you guys like 80 81 degrees in certain areas it's unheard of for this time of year um, generally speaking so it was a new record new high record for the month of March so anyways you guys that's pretty much it for today um, I have been pretty busy getting things done in the garden and planting stuff and so um, I need to get a few more things planted and decide where I'm going to be putting it all so um, it's looking like I need to rip all that stuff apart over here and uh, get all that taken care of and rototill that ground up um, because I really need to get this rototiller back to my church family because yeah they're gonna want it soon so anyways you guys thanks for coming along comment like and subscribe and click that beltman but I can't talk bell button <laughs> and as always you guys have a wonderful day and God bless bye